Hi there and welcome. Today we want to see how we can visualize regression models. We're using the R software and the ggplot2 package and we'll take a look at a simple linear regression. We'll take a look at a parallel slopes model, an interaction effect with intersecting lines. We'll have a look at a 3D visualization and then see some diagnostic plots. The data we're using is the empty cars dataset that comes pre-installed with R and we want to model fuel consumption in miles per gallon. And the first model here is a very simple linear regression model with one predictor, horsepower, and we see that miles per gallon decreases as horsepower increases. And we don't even have to model this explicitly, but we do it within the ggplot call by using geomsmooth and method lm linear model. So this adds the regression line to the scatter plot. So this was pretty straightforward. Now we want to have a look at a second variable, a categorical variable, and we're using displacement as a continuous variable now, and the categorical is AM that specifies whether the car was automatic or manual. And here we use a trick, very convenient function from the broom package, the augment function. So we have a model here, linear model, miles per gallon as a function of displacement plus AM, and we can use model predictions in the ggplot call by just specifying augment model2 <coughs> mod2. So this adds model predictions and then we can plot them in the gm line call um, by accessing the dot fitted variable. And here we see that uh, manual cars have a higher miles per gallon value than automatic cars. But please note that these slopes being parallel is not an empirical result but a model assumption. And now we want to see if this assumption holds. So what we do here is pretty fa straightforward. In the ggplot call aesthetics we specify color again as AM and then gen just use the geomsmooth function to create um, regression lines and R automatically creates one line for each color or for each AM. So we see that for manual cars um, miles per gallon decreases more quickly as displacement increases than for automatic cars. So this is a clear sign of an interaction effect. We have just displayed two separate regression lines here and now we want to model the interaction effect explicitly. So we're creating a regression model and we specify this times AM and this leads R to create a model with the main effects disp for displacement and AM for automatic or manual plus the interaction term disp here specified with a colon AM manual and we see that all three predictors are significant that means we do have an interaction effect here so um, miles per gallon decreases at different rates depending on whether the car is automatic or manual. Um, and now just to check if we displayed the interaction effect correctly. We use a second way to create the plot. Um, we use the augment function again to get model predictions and print them as GeomLine and we get exactly the same plot as above when we use GeomSmooth. So that shows that we modeled the interaction effect correctly. Okay and now we want to go into the third dimension we have two numeric predictors here, displacement and horsepower at these axes and miles per gallon and now what were regression lines before now becomes a plane in 3D space. And we can visualize this in R using the Plotly package. It's a bit harder to do than what we saw up to now because we have to create a matrix manually that contains the values for this plane and then we feed this plane into the plot function, plot underscore ly. So I just show the plot function here. The nice thing about Plotly is that you can even make this interactive. I have it as a PNG image here in the presentation, but you can also create an HTML file and have an interactive presentation. So you can play around with it a little. I find it nice to 
teach how regression works, but um, 3D on a flat surface always has the danger of misinterpretation. So it's a bit difficult to read concrete values here, but Plotly helps by by um, this mouse over effect, so we can read the values. Okay, so much for this, and now we want to look at some diagnostic plots. Base R has a very convenient function that is just plot and the model object here, mod3, and I just added one line to display the four plots that are produced um, in one go with two rows and two columns. Um, but of course it would be nicer to do this in ggplot2 as well, because base R does not look so nice, and luckily it's very easy to obtain a ggplot2 version of these plots by using the gg45 package, and then we have the very convenient function autoplot, we just specify the model object and then get the diagnostic plots in ggplot2 style.